to church. I'm running late as usual. Say good morning, Izzy. Good morning. How y'all doing? Say good morning, Kayla. He's still sleepy, y'all. So, if you guys are following us on Instagram, you guys know that I made our t-shirts yesterday. So, um, yeah, do you guys like them? Uh-oh. My bad, y'all. I didn't drop y'all. But, um, do y'all like them? Let me know. If you guys are not following our social medias, you guys need to get on that. We have Snapchat, Twitter, and, um, Instagram. For all those Facebook fanatics, we about to get a Facebook, too. So, you know, we're not trying to call y'all out. We're going to get a Facebook, too. But, um, yeah, so, did y'all watch the fight last night? Floyd Mayweather. He, he bodied him. What you think? He made black people proud of him. <laughs> <laughs> he bodied him. But, um, yeah, so, uh, we're going to be doing the parent tag today. That's why I made our t-shirts. Um, I didn't want to do the parent tag until we got done. I mean, until I got done making our t-shirts. So, yeah, we will see you guys when we get to church. Speaking of our t-shirts, guys, I made some t-shirts online on teespring.com. So, if you guys would like to support our t-shirts, uh, we have some that says Daily Pickings. And we also have some that says hashtag DP Fam. So, if you guys would like to um, order a t-shirt, um, just email me and let me know. And I will give you all the um, information. Oh, and for anybody that's wondering that watched our Sunday vlog two weeks ago or whenever we came back. Um... Yes, my pastor is Bishop Greg Davis. So, yeah. Because I know someone asked me, yes, my pastor or my bishop is uh, Bishop Greg Davis. Ready? You ready to go, little man? Huh? Caleb, you ready to go in, Stinky? He like, just get me out the car. <laughs> and uh, I need to rejuvenate myself and just listen to the word today. Um, back in February or so, as a young lady, I, I, you know, nobody here did I ask to come with me, including my sister Lil, I didn't ask nobody to come with me, uh, but this one young lady, and she's been my daughter since, uh, she's 15 years old at Second Unity, Full Gospel Baptist Church, when I passed here, I asked her, many of you don't know, but Pastor Dana, uh, was pastor of the church, amen. Uh, Rochelle and some others were with her. She shut her church down. I didn't answer to you, amen. But how many know when somebody believes in you, amen? They'll go all the way. She shut her church down.
we just did that we're getting ready to upload it and um little man here he slept through the whole uh church the whole time we was at church he slept so israel how how was this huh? how was the experience for you it was good. <laughs> I'm trying to get him into um, coming to church with me more often. He uh, he don't really like it. So, but I'm trying to. Cool. Just... All right, you guys, y'all gonna think this real? Y'all gonna think this is very weird? Like this type of relationship we have? Like I don't believe in God. She do, but. I'm not knocking her for that, and she don't knock me for it either. So when she go to church, I don't have a problem going to church with her, sitting there and receiving a word with her, because she's enjoying it, and I, I have fun with her sometimes. It's better than her last church. Her last church was good. Yeah, my last church, they was so, I'm not going to say negative, but they were, like, really judgmental. And you don't come to church to be judged. So you guys remember when I was telling you that we were going to get the car fixed? When was that, yesterday? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that night that we were um that night that we were on our way home from Walmart, the car stopped on us. Like, no, it didn't stop. It turned like, off. It turned off. We had enough power to keep driving. Yeah, it it turned off, but it still was drive. Like we could still drive, and we were on the freeway, and Israel was speeding, getting home. I had to. We I was so scared, y'all. Like I was so freaking scared. And um, we had the kids with us, but you know, we had to get home. I was telling, it's like, why don't you just pull over? But even if we would have pulled over, we wouldn't have had nobody to come and get us. We would have just been stranded. So he just like raced all the way home. And I know that's probably dangerous, y'all, but we had to do what we had to do. And um, we made it home safe, thank God. We made it home safe. And uh, yeah, like, and we had to, he had to go the next morning to get, the um alternator fix wasn't that the alternator you had to get yeah, killed my power yeah so we had to get the alternator fix the alternate the alternator right i'm saying that right alternator. yeah he had to get the alternator no, 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 no. <laughs> the, the alternator fixed <laughs> he had to get the alternator fixed or whatever so now what did you have to get fixed the other day that we didn't get fixed what was that the little right control arm you still got now we still have to get that fixed but yeah guys so that was something that i was like oh my god like i was so scared y'all like we literally had to speed all the way home because we didn't want to stop on the freeway at mid and then the freeway was somewhat packed so even if we wanted to get over we probably wouldn't have been able to because it was so packed y'all so packed and like we were like toward, we was like in the middle lane and it was like cars on the side of us so we was getting upset about the money and stuff we want to say thank you guys to all of you all for the encouraging words when i was telling you guys about the negative comments that we were getting and all of you guys were telling us you know like to just delete them and you know so we really appreciate you guys and back to what i was saying about um about the car and everything so israel he was upset because he was like man you know now that's gonna put us back for moving when it comes to the money thing and i'm like you know we just have to you know stay positive about it because he was like saying stuff about um he wanted to get my permit that week yeah but that's what i was gonna do i was gonna go and get your permit but when the car went out like that was a 375 dollar job and i'm like man i just spent half my money on my on the, on the kids and the other parts of the car and i'm like oh I thought I was saving something, then that problem would come. I'm like, man, I hope he don't tell me no big amount. And he told me a big amount. And I'm like, oh, man. Now nah, I'm broke, but we gonna bounce right back like we always do. So she's just telling me to stay positive. So I'm just going ahead and stay positive. Because like she said, you already know the result. Man. Keep grinding, we gonna get money. Regardless. Exactly. And like, like I said, everything is gonna fall into place. When it's time for us to move, we're gonna move. So, you know, we're not really tripping about it. And then we're not really looking to move until October, November anyway. And I mean, if we have to wait till December or January, it is what it is. You know, we will get a place when it's meant for us to get a place. But anyway, guys, we are on our way home. So we will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye, guys. Say bye. Bye-bye. Say bye, little.
little stinky. He like, forget y'all. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more updates. Bye, guys. Give up on my way.